Alicia opens the door to the girl's locker room to pick up her swimsuit she left there. She notices there's steam coming from one of the bathrooms. Huh, it's so late. How is there still someone here? When she walks past it, she sees there's a little gap and can't help but steal a peek. She sees a foamy girl standing in the middle of a hot, steamy shower. Alicia couldn't look away. She was mesmerized by the sensual moment this girl was sharing with herself. She thinks to herself, Hmm, who are you? It all started two hours earlier, when the boys were practicing on the basketball court. Pass it to me! Pass it to me! Tensions are high as the teams are running on the court, heading right up to the hoop. Over here! Over here! Yo, I'm open! The star player crashes into Peaches, who awkwardly walks through. And shoot! Hey! He tumbles over and yells at her. Hey, nerd! Go and play somewhere else! Just get out of here! He yelled at her while he was getting up. Everyone was giggling and whispering about her. Even the cheerleaders were booing her in synchronization. Uh, I'm sorry! She mutters and walks away with her head down, so embarrassed, before going to the court in the back to practice on her own. Everyone was looking at her, as if she was some kind of freak. Peaches, or Freak, is the name that her classmates often call her because of her nerdiness, and also that she generally keeps to herself and has almost no friends. After school, she has to go to the gym to practice basketball to make up for the F she got in gym. It was the only exam she didn't pass. She practices from the moment school ends until the evening when everyone's almost gone. After practice, Peaches steps into a much needed shower. One of the reasons she's actually been really enjoying her own practice time so much is the alone time she gets to have after it. It was completely silent in the entire girl's locker room. The only sound there was, was the sound of the water from her shower head falling against the floor. Ah, <sighs> so lovely. Peaches is not just washing away all the sweat and germs that she's collected the whole day, but also the stress from all the things people have been saying to her. The cold water washes it all away, leaving her more relaxed all over. Once the water has run down her shoulders, all the way to her feet, Peaches takes the fragrant soap and starts to rub. She can feel her body completely relax, and as she moves the soap lower and lower, she hits a spot she never noticed before. It's giving her a feeling, some kind of feeling. She doesn't know what this feeling is and why it feels so good, but she's curious and wants to explore it more. She looks left and right to make sure she's really in the locker room alone before trying it again. Even though there's a voice in her head telling her what she's doing is bad. So bad. She wonders if others do this too, and wants to know what this feeling really is. While she's exploring herself, suddenly she feels like she shouldn't be doing this, so she quickly removes her hand and then accidentally knocks off the various shampoo bottles on the shelf, making a loud sound. Uh, are you okay in there? Hey! Peaches screams. God, you're so clumsy. I already saw whatever you were doing in there. I just didn't want to bother you until I heard everything fall over. Anyways, if you're good, then I'll just leave you to it. See ya. Wait, stop. What do you mean? I wasn't doing anything. Peaches says as her face turns bright red. Not doing anything, but I could clearly see you were exploring your... Well, tulips. Are you crazy? I wasn't doing that. Face turns redder. How could you say that? I wasn't doing anything. Now can you please pass me my towel? Alicia grabs the towel hanging on the wall, but she couldn't resist taking another look at Peach's slender body one last time. And then she passes the towel. I don't know what you think you saw, Peaches says while drying her legs, but I wasn't doing that. Alicia snaps out of her trance. There's no need to be loud. It's a normal thing that everyone does. Normal? It's shameful, you mean. Wait, what is a natural thing? There's so much good that comes from it. Plus, it feels amazing. Wouldn't you say? 
No way. It's so shameful, but I just got this feeling and I needed to explore it. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that was your first time. First time doing what? I told you already. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, come on. It's totally natural. I was 12 when I did it the first time. 12? How did you even know what to do or how to do it? I mean, I'm just asking. You want me to show you? Peaches glances over to Alicia with a weirded out expression. I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, there's no wrong way to do it. It's different for all of us girls. You just have to experiment and find out what works for you. For some people, the hands are enough, but for others, they need toys. Like I said, it's different for everyone. You just have to ease your mind, relax, and let the pleasure take over your body. If you keep thinking it's wrong, you're going to end up like those idiots out there. It's totally normal, and everyone does it. It's your own body, and you have the right to explore it however you want. Damn, I never thought I would meet a unicorn. A unicorn? A virgin? I mean, you're the one that's missing out here. It's kind of like having an amazing piece of creamy chocolate right in front of you, and you just ignore it. I mean, who does that? Alicia gets up and grabs her backpack. Okay, how about this? When you go home tonight, I want you to think of your fantasy, which can be of anyone that turns you on. Can be a guy, can be a girl, whatever. Just imagine what you'd want them to do to you and what you'd like to do to them. And then, give me your phone. Alicia grabs Peach's phone, adds her number into her phone, and rings herself. Let me know when the deed's done, okay? See you later, little unicorn. And then, out walks Alicia. Peaches notices that her skirt moves so fluidly right below her curves, and she can't help but stare. She snaps out of it and starts to pack her things. Her head was spinning with all the information she just got. Everything she's been taught all her life, how doing these things with yourself is wrong, is shameful, is not clean, just got completely shaken up. But that thought didn't linger very long, because to be honest, she was kind of excited about her new homework. But she had no idea how she was going to even get started. I mean, what would she imagine? Who would she imagine? It felt so wrong, but in a way that kind of excited her more. As she zips up her bag and tries to imagine something, the only thing that pops up in her head is the way that Alicia's skirt was moving. As she walks out of the locker room, lost in her daydream, she doesn't even reach 10 steps before running into the Just Kidding gang. To be honest, the more accurate name they should be given should be Just Bullying. They got this name because they like to pick on the other kids. And once they had their fill, they all say together, Just Kidding! Peaches is one of their favorite targets to pick on. She herself doesn't understand why she's often their victim. It might be because of the way she's dressed, or maybe that she's always keeping to herself. But no matter the reason, at this moment, she's already like a little deer standing in the middle of a pack of wolves. Hey freak, where are you going like that? Come here, we just want to talk. Various more words were thrown at her. She tried to show no reaction and tried to walk away, but she couldn't escape because one of them ended up tripping her and she fell head first on the ground. And then just like that, all together they said, just kidding, and roared with laughter. In pain, Peaches looks down at her legs that's been scratched from the fall and thinks to herself, Damn it, there's already a scratch. But if I don't respond, they should get bored and leave me alone. A boy's voice yells from behind her. Hey, what are you guys doing? Nothing, dude. We we're just helping the freak get up. Let's go, guys. As Peaches is staring at her torn stockings, a hand appears in front of her face, happy that someone is actually helping her. She grabs his warm, strong hands and he pulls her up. She dusts herself off and examines her dress to find that there's an even bigger tear in it. <sighs> she sighs in exasperation and checks around her body at the scratches she got from the fall. Once she was done, she looks up and as she was about to thank the person in front of her, he gives her a small side smile and turns around and walks away. Thanks, she whispers, as that was all that would come out. And then just like that, he was gone. 
She says quietly to herself, Who is this person? He looks familiar. Whoever he was, Peaches was officially smitten. She stood there just staring into space and reliving the moment she saw his strong hand reach out for her. The warmth of his hand is still making her whole body tingle. What those hands could do to her, she was so curious to know. I think I just found the answer to my homework. 